Hi, this is Terry Grover from Terry Grover Computer Consulting. You know, a lot of my clients have never used the Office program Excel. Maybe it's intimidating. They don't see why they would use something that just gives you charts, graphs, numbers, formulas, things like that. Actually, it can be very useful, and not just for numbers. Notice that right here in this screen, I've developed a duty roster, say for a luncheon duty. Maybe it has something to do with church or a nonprofit. I bet a lot of you have done that before. On the left, I've created a column with every month of the year, and across the top for the weeks of the month. In each of these cells, I'm going to pop somebody's name then I can have a table to print out. How did I do this? Let me show you a couple of quick tricks. I'm going to start a brand new empty file by clicking File, New, and just a blank work workbook for now. Okay, this is what we begin with. First, we're going to put in a title. Let's see. Um, Luncheon Duty 2012. Oops, 12. Okay. Did you see how in the first spreadsheet, which is what these are called, it was kind of big letters and centered? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to click and drag my mouse to select the words lunch and duty. Then up here in the font section, I'm going to find the font I want. Let's see. I kind of like Arial Rounded. Very good. Now I'm going to select the size. If I go up and down the numbers, do you see how it gets bigger and smaller and bigger? I kind of like this size, so I'm going to click there. I'm going to change the color by going into my colors. Look how it's hidden. Do you see that? Just click anywhere else and it automatically changes the height of that row to match the size of that font. Now I would like to have it centered. I think that my table is going to be about that wide. So I select that many columns and up here I click Merge and Center. Look at that. Now I have a nicely centered title. Okay, I'm going to leave this block empty because I want one column to begin here and another one to begin here. Across the top I'm going to type Week 1. I could change the font the same way in this block here as I did for lunch and duty, but I won't worry about that for now. I know that I need five because there are five weeks, at least in some months. Do you see the box here around that cell? In the lower right hand corner, do you see that little funny notch? If I take my mouse and put it right on it, it turns into a plus. I'm going to click down and I'm going to drag. Look what it does. It automatically puts in my work, my word week, and adds the numbers. Here, I'm going to type the word January. Now, do you want to type January, February, March, etc. all the way through? Well, neither do I. So look what Excel will do for us here. Grab that little notch until it turns into a plus. Press down on the mouse button and drag down, watch it make the months come through. Let go, and there they are. How do I make sure that they all fit? I just go up here. Do you see how my mouse turns into a crosshatch? Just drag it out as far as you want. And look at that, there we go. Next time, I'll teach you how to make them colored, fancy, anything you like. And that's all for today.